This is a movie that's based on another movie, or so the credits claim. But I feel like that's just a nice way to say it's a remake. The original's in Hebrew though, so I kinda get why it didn't get that much attention. Anyway, it's the second movie by Sarah Colangelo. Colangelo? I don't know. Now, I've always liked Maggie Gyllenhaal, so I've been looking forward to seeing this. And as the title might suggest, she plays a kindergarten teacher. And what I found kind of interesting in the first few scenes was how the movie kind of tricked you. And how that was actually even more clever than I first thought. In the very first scene, when you're introduced to the character, it doesn't really give you much to work with. So you kind of have to fill in the gaps yourself about who she is. And the way it sets it up, you're kind of tricked into viewing her a certain way. So I kind of just made some assumptions and built up this image of who she is in my head. Now that's just how the brain works. But turns out, in the next few scenes, you're slowly shown bits and pieces of her actual life. And she's nothing like what I imagined. Now, I'm pretty sure they did that intentionally. Because it kind of plays into the rest of the movie. It plays with your expectations and uses your own psychology to trick you. I thought that was kind of brilliant, actually. If it was intentional, it might not have been. Anyway, Maggie's character notices that this one kid, a five-year-old, might be a little bit different than your average kid. So she takes a special interest in him to sort of nurture him and help him. Now, the tone of this movie is very interesting. It had a bit of this kind of mystery vibe to it. And there's this soft piano score that kind of helps with that, helps set the mood. And the way Maggie Gyllenhaal plays this character is pretty damn impressive, actually. She just constantly switches modes and it looks effortless. She's usually this loving, caring, nurturing mom type. And then when she needs to, she just goes into this driven, determined mode and gets kind of scary. She's pretty intense and I love that performance. Maybe one of the best I've seen her do ever. Now very early on, I got an idea of where this movie might be going. And I was just sitting there hoping it wouldn't go there, that it would come up with something a little bit more interesting and not so obvious. But for a while there it looked like it might go exactly where I thought it would. But to my surprise, it didn't. It managed to throw a bit of a curveball. And I appreciated that. It kept things interesting. And this didn't feel like a movie I've seen before. On the surface it does. I've seen similar premises a bunch of times. But the tone and execution of this one is a little bit different. And I really enjoyed the depth of this thing. I mean, it gets into how people project their own views and ideas onto other people. And how you kind of see what you want to see sometimes. And not really what's actually there. And even into how parents sometimes live vicariously through their kids. They feel like the kids are an extension of themselves. And they can kind of use them to fulfill some sort of, I don't know, old dream or something. And it also gets into that even the most well-intentioned person can sometimes go about doing things in a way that's not exactly optimal. Now, I feel like the elephant in the room is the kid playing the kid. Because let's be honest, he's not a great actor. I've seen far better, even from young kids like him. In fact, I'd almost go as far as to say he's a bad actor. He just kind of seems like any old kid plopped in front of a camera and asked to deliver lines. It's not that great. But here's the thing. It kind of works for the movie and not against it. Because he kind of acts like a blank canvas for Maggie Gyllenhaal's character to project her own ideas onto. And he really doesn't even have a character. He's just sort of there and lets her do her thing. And I really thought it worked in a kind of weird way. Now the ending I also kind of liked. I really thought it worked. But I could also see a lot of people not liking it. I could see someone thinking it was kind of dumb. And I get that. I'm pretty sure the end's gonna split the audiences a bit. And I can't really blame them. It's probably not the best way to end the movie. But as I said, I liked it. I thought it worked. And as a whole, I kind of liked this movie a lot. It was very interesting. It held my attention. Maggie Gyllenhaal was fantastic. It looked good enough and was well paced. And I just liked it. So would I recommend it? Yeah, absolutely. It's easily one of my favorite Netflix original movies so far. So go watch it. Or don't. I'm not your kindergarten, I mean that.